I was contacted by the Crown uh, at the Ontario Court of Justice uh, to assist with the case that they had. So they asked me to reach out to the victim and make sure she's safe and take her home. He drove me home in the fabulous Pride SUV. And as he was driving me home, we reached a stoplight and then an individual in a pickup truck came up to us. A transgender cop car. Look at that. Are you guys cops or you just identify as cops? That's none of your business and I'm hands free. So there's nothing you can do. I'm just asking you a question. Sergeant, are you cops or you identify as cops? I, I have no idea that reality doesn't exist anymore, right? Part of me was shocked, but part of me was not shocked. I am a trans woman. I've been transitioning for eight years. I get harassed and vilified every day of my life. The chief spoke recently, we had an event. Uh, hate crimes towards the 2S LGBT community are up 140% between uh, January and May. So it's certainly a worrying trend. Not only do I think violent rhetoric can become violent actions, it does. That's where it starts. And I think a lot of that is, is bred by things like this. I do many different things. I, I try not to ever say no whenever I'm needed. A, a lot of things that we do too are, are visibility, showing uh, the 2S LGBTQ plus community who we are. I think it's fantastic that uh, Toronto Police Service has created a response to the need. I think their visibility is important in a world that right now is working so hard to erase who LGBTQQI people are. Have a happy and safe Pride, everyone. <laughs>